Fairy Mama. I hope everyone is already having a very merry holiday season. I know even though this time of year can be so magical, it can also be a bit stressful. I know many of us have a list a mile long of people that we want to get gifts for to show how much we appreciate them. There's the postman, our cleaning service, the garbage guy, and I know on many of our lists are our kids' teachers. These people are just miracle workers. They show our kids kindness, compassion, patience, and I know a little token of our appreciation goes such a long way to let them know how much we appreciate all that they do. So I have come up with three different ideas that I think are terrific and that most, if not all teachers will really love and appreciate. So I'm going to show you what they are now. They're all super budget friendly, so don't worry. You can customize them to fit exactly what your budget is going to be. I'm getting started by making these mason jar cookie mixes. I see these all over the stores this time of year, so I am going to be DIYing it and saving a ton of money. So to get started, I am just going to be mixing all of my dry ingredients into a bowl and then using a piece of paper to funnel it into the quart size mason jar. This did make a total mess as you are seeing, but Baking is a messy hobby, so you just gotta go with it and clean up when you're all done. Once all your dry ingredients are layered, I added in some festive red and green M&Ms as well as some mini chocolate chips. All of these ingredients and their quantities are gonna be in the recipe that I'll link down in the description box. So don't even worry about trying to follow along. I'll just make sure that that recipe is linked for you so that if you wanna make these yourself, it'll be super easy. Now I was starting to get a little panicked at this point because the jar was getting really full, but using a measuring cup was the perfect size to sort of press all the ingredients down and really pack them in tightly so I can fit in the sugar on top. So here I'm just adding in the brown sugar. Again, brown sugar is pretty easy to pack in. So once I added that, I just really packed that down and then I topped it off with the white sugar and everything fit perfectly. Now, as you saw before, there were two different jars and I am doing two different cookie mixes. So this one is a white chocolate and peppermint. So there is more flour um, because there aren't any oats in this particular cookie. So whatever one you think would be better, or you can make both like I am. My son has two different teachers, so I'm going to be giving one of each. So again, once I funnel in all of those dry ingredients, I'm going to be layering in the fun part. So here I have some crushed up candy canes. Any crushed up um, like peppermint type candies would definitely work. And then here I'm also going to be adding in some white chocolate chips. These are going to make it super fun and festive. I can't wait to see how these come out. Again here, I'm just packing everything in as tight as I can so that I can get the sugar to fit. This one was a little bit harder to fit than the previous one. Uh, so I did get all of the brown sugar packed in, but I did have to cut back on the white sugar just a little bit to get it to fit in the jar. But the recipe says that the same thing happened to her and it still tasted great. I just need to add some gift tags and ribbon to make it look super professional. No, I did not make these. If you know me at all, you know I am so not technologically savvy. These were actually a free printable that came with the recipe that I found on Pinterest. So I just printed them out on my computer, thankfully, and now I'm just cutting them out and then I just have to add my son's name to them. I picked up some ribbon from the dollar store and then I just uh, did a quick hole punch through the label, tied the ribbon around the mason jar, and I can't get over how cute this looks. And it probably took me about 20 minutes to make 
both of the jars and do all the ribbons. So again, pretty quick and inexpensive DIY gift. you are looking for something a little less DIY and a little bit more quick and easy, this is the perfect gift for you. Who doesn't love a gift card to their local coffee shop? Starbucks is pretty popular where I live, so I just got an empty cup from them when I was going to get a peppermint mocha the other day, and then I grabbed this Dollar Tree paper filler um, that was only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And then I just added that into one of their plastic cups. And then you just have to stick in the gift card, pop on the lid. And what I found was the easiest to do was to stick a nice clean straw in and attach a gift tag to that. So I found these thanks a latte for all you do gift tags. I thought that was such a cute little saying. And then I just cut that out. Again, stuck a little hole punch in it and tied it with a ribbon to the straw. And oh my gosh, this looks so cute. I think it is such a fun and festive way to just give someone a gift card, but it shows that you still put a lot of effort into it. Now, if you want to take it up one more notch, I thought that this was such a fun gift idea for a teacher. It's a before work and after work beverage gift set, I guess you could call it. Again, all you'll need to do is grab a bottle of wine, try not to drink it. I know the holidays can be stressful, am I right? You'll need a few bags of this Dollar Tree filler that I mentioned earlier. My box was pretty big, so I used about four bags of it. Um, but again, depending on the size of your box, you might need more, you might need less and you will need quite a sturdy box to hold the bottle of wine. So then you just wanna nestle in your wine, nestle in your gift card, and then I just made little tags that said before work and after work, you know, just so they wouldn't get confused or anything. And then I just nestled them in besides the wine and the gift card, and that's it. This was honestly super quick, but I think that any teacher would really get a kick out of it. So that's going to be it for this video. I would absolutely love for you to leave me a comment down below letting me know which gift idea was your favorite and what, if anything, you are planning on getting your child's teacher this year for Christmas or for the holidays. So again, I want to thank you so much for watching. If you need some more gift inspiration, I do have two other gift guides that are already posted. I have a kid toddler gift guide and I also have an adult men and women's gift guide. So you are going to get tons of gift ideas and inspiration. I worked really, really hard on them, trying to come up with super creative ideas that almost anybody will love. So I really love and appreciate if you would check those videos out. If you haven't already, they'll be linked down in the description box. My Christmas clean and decorate is already live. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever done. I loved how my decorating turned out. So again, please go check that video out out as well and then i have two more christmas videos coming at you this week wednesday is going to be my christmas house tour where i take you all around for the official tour showing you where i got everything and letting you know how it all looks completely decorated um, the final product and then friday is going to be some christmas dinner inspiration i already filmed that video and everything turned out delicious i can't wait to share with you what i made so make sure you're subscribed turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any of that content and i'll see you on wednesday with a brand new video bye